Hello, my name is Katie Rushworth and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool wine rack using old tin cans. It's a really simple and easy make. The tools and materials you'll need for this are 10 tin cans, a can opener, a ruler, scissors, a pencil, some paper, decorative paper of your choice, a file, a knife, a glue gun, some spray adhesive and if you want to spray them a spray can colour of your choice. I've taken all my tin cans and removed the top section and I've also given them a really good wash. Now I want to use a file just to make sure there are no sharp bits left. Now all the sharp bits have been removed you can spray them if you want like we have I would suggest leaving the bottom of the can on when you do this because that way any excess paint doesn't end up on your clothes or any work surfaces afterwards and it also gives you a nice coating inside. I would also kind of spray halfway down the outside of the can and that way you get a nice finish when your paper goes on. Once you've done that it's time to remove the bottom so you've got it all the way through and again remove any sharp bits. Now I'm putting on this really pretty decorative paper that's got kind of wine illustrations on it but you can use anything, wrapping paper, wallpaper, it's totally up to you. Just spraying it with spray adhesive and it's just a matter of wrapping it around the can as evenly as possible and there we go. So it really is as simple as that. The next thing is to stick them all together. Now all my cans are wrapped, I've started to attach them together using a glue gun. The bottom ones here I've attached side by side and then for the ones that stack on top of each other I've just used the can as a guide and I know that I want the glue to be about here about 10 o'clock and about here about 2. So then just mark onto there where your line of glue is going to go from front to back. Got that on there and I want to put my seam of the paper towards the bottom which is there and place that on top and I've got a couple of clips that I'm going to attach just to hold it in place till it dries which should take about five minutes Now it's ready for, well, with any luck, some wine bottles that actually have wine in them, but today I don't have those. So these going in. And there you go. It looks really smart. For more how-to videos, visit silverlinetools.com.